Good evening from Philadelphia. This is Mike Seidel and the snow has moved from Washington and Baltimore into Philly and it's on the way to New York and Boston. Will it be as bad as the blizzard of 78 25 years ago tonight? We'll check that forecast all coming up. You can run, but you cannot hide Washington, D.C. from winter. Our winter weather expert, Paul Kosin, will join us with the details. Friday is the gateway to the weekend, but snow is going to complicate your plans if you live in many of the big cities on the East Coast. Even those small cities will be getting some snow. As we look across the rest of the nation, we don't find many problems, but there will be a few. The Weather Channel Evening Edition continues. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Weather Channel Evening Edition. I'm Dave Schwartz, in tonight for Paul Goodlow. And I'm Jennifer Lopez, and thanks so much for making us a part of your Thursday night. A storm that's left a swath of snow from the front range of the Rockies to the Ohio Valley is now bearing down on the Northeast. Something as simple as walking was tricky today in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you can blame it on the snowy and blustery conditions. Today's high barely cracked freezing. The snow has ended, now it's just the cold you will have to deal with. Well, conditions in New York will be heading down, down, down. Just like these people are doing as they head down to the subway. You're in for another blast of wintry weather, and it's going to be starting. It's starting already into LaGuardia, and it will continue through the night and throughout the day. How much will you get? Well, we'll check in with our winter weather expert, Paul Kosin, in just a bit. But first off, let's check in with our own Mike Seidel. He joins us from Philadelphia, where it just started snowing a short time ago. It looks pretty light there. The streets look pretty good around the area right now. But what is the city expecting, Mike? Uh, tonight, Jennifer, snow is beginning to fall. We are expecting uh, four to eight inches here in Philadelphia. I'm in Center City at the Franklin Institute. You remember old Ben Franklin? He had a lot to do about weather and meteorology way back there. I think it was 1750. He did the old experiment with the, uh, the kite and the uh, key, uh, figuring out that lightning was just electricity. No lightning tonight, it's not that unstable, but we have snow coming down, and we'll see it picking up at a pretty good clip, especially after midnight through tomorrow morning's rush hour. That will be the main impact, the rush hour on Friday morning here in Philly, also New York, and back towards Baltimore and Washington. By the way, if you're flying out in the morning, check ahead with your air carrier, because planes left overnight will have to be de-iced, and there will be delays certainly in and out of the uh, major northeastern and mid-Atlantic airports. As far as snowfall goes here in Pittsburgh, uh, rather in Philadelphia, Pittsburgh was last week, Philadelphia this week. Just the other side of the beautiful Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, we've had 14, almost 15 inches of snow so far uh, this season. That's about three and a half above average. But last year, the entire season, we only had four inches of snow. Now, January was very cold. You know how cold it was up here, you know, 12, 14 days below freezing, completely below freezing. But it was relatively dry. We're about a half as much as snow as we usually see. We usually see seven or eight inches. We are down about four inches. And typically in a season, we have uh, 23, just under two feet of snow here in Philadelphia. Come back tonight and show you the roadways now becoming snow covered here in Center City. Uh, the roads which are traveled, you're getting somewhere down to the asphalt, but areas that are untraveled, like the sidewalk here in front of the Franklin Institute, is already snow covered as the snow intensity picks up. We're at 29 degrees. It will drop down to about 27 overnight. Highs tomorrow maybe just squeaking above freezing. And again, we're looking for 4 to 8 inches, certainly south of here. And for those of you watching out towards Margate, Wildwood, and Atlantic City and Cape May, the Jersey Shore, certainly will have that much snow. The other question we have on our minds is this storm, as it wraps up, what kind of wind will we have? Let's find out now from our winter weather expert, Paul Kosin. Unlike the blizzard of 78, this storm is going to wrap up mostly offshore, so wind actually is going to be very little part of the problem here. Most of the problem is snowfall, and it's going to be not like that blizzard because most of the snow is going to be falling over a fairly short period of time, generally under 12 hours. So that's why in the Washington through Philadelphia corridor, we're looking for a 4 to 8 inch accumulation, a little bit less in New York, 3 to 6 and three to four, say, in Boston, but there's going to be an axis of heaviest snow that I'll get to in a little bit. Low pressure still developing in the Gulf. That's not the one we're concerned about. Within the next several hours, we'll see low pressure really start to go along the South Carolina coast. We already see southeasterly winds at Cape Hatteras. That's an indication of some of the warm air, uh, moist air that's coming in and overriding some of the cold air. So we'll see those snowfall rates really start to come together over the next several hours, and the snow will really start to come down between Richmond and Washington over the next several hours and then spread up towards the northeast. We can already see some of that occurring right now across Virginia, and that will continue for a good portion of the night. Generally in Washington and Baltimore in the area south, look for your heaviest snows overnight, 
sort of uh, beginning to taper off just after uh, the morning rush hour, but the damage will be done by that point. And also the snow will be increasing overnight. Generally after midnight, some of the heaviest snows will start in Philadelphia. That will continue overnight as well, taper off during the morning to the early morning time frame. Uh, New York City, the heaviest snow will be falling during the day tomorrow. But right now we're still assuming that the heaviest snow will be staying in a band of about six to eight, maybe ten inches of snow, just to the south and east of the major cities of Washington to Philadelphia. It doesn't take much of a change in that storm track, but we're still holding with a, a low that's continuing out to the northeast, and that will hold those snowfall accumulations down in New York to three to six and three or four inches in the Boston metropolitan area. Look for the heaviest snowfall in southeast Mass, as well as eastern Long Island, southern New Jersey, up to ten inches is possible there. Jennifer? All right, thanks a lot, Paul, and we'll check back in with you at the top of the hour. Now it's time to get a look on the rest of the country. Here's Dave. Thanks, Jennifer. In addition to this storm that's now made it to the East Coast, there are two other storms on the satellite image. Kind of hard to see. One of them's right in here. That's why it's so windy this evening in Redding and Red Bluff, California. And another one here. That may help to bring some sleet to South Texas tomorrow. Rest of the country is pretty high and dry thanks to high pressure. But look at all that snow, huh? Further south, it's been rain, all rain here in Charlotte. We just so close. You head north on 77, and you run into that heavy wet snow around Statesville and Lake Norman, and then right into southwestern Virginia. Be extremely careful out here on the roadways. Further south, be careful, too, because of all the rain. Now it's reached Wilmington, Charleston, Savannah. Atlanta's been rainy, but that rain will end by morning. And just a few snow flurries here in Arkansas. But these clouds are going to be hanging around. This is the subtropical jet stream, and these mid and upper level clouds will hang around all through the weekend. Houston and San Antonio, and spread southward into Florida, where you're holding on to some warm weather very nicely. 72 in Miami, that's the warm spot here in the United States. Right now in Hibbing, Minnesota, it's 15 below, and temperatures are below zero as far south as northern Nebraska. It's a chilly one out here. Chicago at 20 degrees. Fortunately, we didn't get the snow. Here in Indianapolis, though, we did. Snow is tapering off to flurries at the present time. And then our storms in the west. You can only see it here on the satellite image. Down here at the surface, we're doing fine. Winds will lighten up now that the sun is down here in Northern California. But the big story is the big snowstorm. And the snow will begin to pile up during the day tomorrow. And that will continue tomorrow night in Boston, two to four inches. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Once again, the forecast stories for Friday. Number one is the snow. We've had some flurries around New York City. It gets worse than that by tomorrow morning's rush hour. Number two, the moisture of the cold air in South Texas, Houston to Laredo. Ugh. Meanwhile, here in Chicago and all the way down under those clouds, temperatures will be way below average. Want to give you guys the heads up on what to plan for if you live in Washington or Baltimore. Take a look outside the window right now if you haven't been out for a few
Good evening from snowy Philadelphia. This is Mike Seidel in Center City. How much of this stuff is coming at us? We'll check the forecast. Get the shovels ready. Trust me. You can run, but you can't hide from winter Washington, D.C. Our winter weather expert, Paul Kosen, will join us with the details. Friday is the gateway to the weekend, but snow is going to complicate your plans if you live in many of the East Coast cities. As we look across the rest of the nation, we don't find many problems, but there will be a few. The Weather Channel Evening Edition continues. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Weather Channel Evening Edition. Paul Goodloe's got the week off. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Jennifer Lopez, and thank you so much for making us a part of your Thursday night. A storm that